Okay, let's solve an example where we find the maximum shearing stress in a shaft due to torsion. So for this example, we have a shaft. It's a steel shaft that transmits a torque of 15,750 inch-pound. And it's at a speed of 200 revolutions per minute. The modulus of elasticity in shear is 12,000 PSI, 12 million PSI, sorry. So it's 12 times 10 to the 6. The length and the diameter of the shaft is 32 is going to be the length and the diameter is going to be 2 inches, 2 inches for the diameter. And we want to find the maximum shear and stress in the shaft. So for this you can just simply apply an equation and this is provided in our FE handbook. So it's going to be if we go to the mechanics and materials section. In the new FE handbook 10.0, you can go to the bottom. And so we have it under the torsion section. So we can go to the torsion. And the torsion stress is going to be our shearing stress, the maximum shearing stress. So we take the torque times R. R in this case is just going to be the radius of the shaft. It's a solid shaft divided by our polar moment of inertia. So the polar moment of inertia, J, is going to be determined by looking at the static section. And you can scroll all the way down to the tables. And we know we do not have a hollow shaft. This is a hollow shaft. We have a solid shaft. It's a steel solid shaft. So our J value is going to be pi A to the 4 divided by 2. A is going to be essentially in this case the radius of the shaft. So it's pi A to the 4 divided by 2. So let's write that down. Our J value, let me use red here. Our J value is pi A to the 4 divided by 2. And we're just going to use that maximum shear stress equation. We take our torque times R divided by our J value. So what we have essentially here is going to be, so if I draw that here, so we have a shaft. We're looking at a cross section. The shaft, we're told, it has a diameter of 2 inches. So the total distance here, the diameter, our D value is 2 inches. So that's what's happening there. And we know this will experience a maximum shear stress and when it's a solid shaft it's going to be linear so I'll call this my tau max which is what we're solving for so let's solve for that we know the torque is given that's good our R value in this case is just going to be the radius so we take the diameter divided by 2 so our R value is going to be 1 inch and our A value is also going to be 1 inch. So R is 1 inch and so is A. A is the radius. Using the FE handbook, it's the same as the R value. So we can, first I want to solve, okay, we'll just plug everything in. We can just plug that down here and just solve. So we take our 15,750 inch pound the, the units look good inches is what we want we take our radius so our radius here is going to be one inch we take the diameter divided by two so it's just one and the polar moment of inertia meaning the measure of resistance to twisting specifically for shafts it's going to be pi a is one inches to the fourth divided by 2. So here you can simply solve and I got around 10,000 PSI. So that should be D. That's all. Hope that helps.